Hi, my name is Dr. Evelyn Funjika. I am a Commonwealth alumnus. I have created this short video to celebrate World Water Day and the theme for this year is value in water. We use water for different purposes in our daily lives, such as cooking, washing and cleaning. Water is a critical resource that is essential for our health and well-being. It plays an important role in protecting us against infectious diseases. Hand washing alone can reduce the risk of acquiring diarrheal and respiratory diseases. However, for this to be effective, we need to wash our hands using clean water. Unfortunately, not everyone is able to access safe and clean water. In Zambia, according to the 2018 Zambia Demographic and Health Survey, 92% of the urban population had access to an improved water source whereas only 58% of the rural population had access to an improved water source. But only 33% of the urban population surveyed had a fixed place for hand washing, while only 19% of the rural population had a fixed place for hand washing. This clearly shows that we need to do more to increase access to safe and clean water, as this is an important way in which you can reduce the burden of infectious diseases. My colleague, Dr. Chawoka, will talk more about how water has played an important role to fight infectious diseases in Zambia. Yeah, thanks very much, uh, Evelyn. As most of us know, infectious diseases, particularly those related to the lack of clean water and poor sanitation are not new to Zambia. For instance, the first outbreak of cholera was recorded in 1977 and 1978, and it's possible there were many other unrecorded outbreaks much earlier. Since that time, the country has suffered major outbreaks, resulting in the loss of many lives. The epidemics recording the largest number of cases occurred in 1991, with over 12,000 cases. More recently, cholera outbreaks have also been reported in 2017 and 2018. Now, poor access to safe water and sanitation has been identified as the main drivers of the outbreaks. Provision of clean water has played an important role in the fight against cholera. For instance, during outbreaks, the government of Zambia, through the Ministry of Health, institutes measures to reduce fatalities, which include increased chlorination of the Lusaka municipal water, provision of emergency water supplies, and water quality monitoring and testing. Ms. Jenela Chimpunza works at the Center for Infectious Disease Research in Zambia, and she will talk about water and the WASH campaign. The concept of WASH is a broad one, with each letter in this concept representing an important element of human survival. The W is for water. The S is for sanitation, and the H is for hygiene. Now among these three, hygiene is the hardest to implement because it involves human behavior, which is very complex. Now the most important hygiene behavior that you and I both know is hand washing with soap. This is so important because it has the potential to stop the transmission of many death-causing diseases like coronavirus and other diarrhea-causing pathogens. Now, hand washing with soap cannot be done without water. And for this World Water Day, I would like us to think about water for hand washing because it is extremely scarce and unavailable to the Zambian people. Today, the struggle on the ground is securing water for drinking, cleaning purposes, and bathing, making water for hand washing a luxury especially for a behavior that has not been given so much attention. If a family of five had to practice hand washing with soap at the required times, we're talking about hundreds of liters of water. Now this is unaffordable for the majority of the Zambian people, especially for a behavior that is not paid so much attention. So now we need to think about securing enough water to allow that family of five to be able to clean their households, to be able to bath, 
to be able to have access to clean drinking water and lastly but certainly not the least to wash their hands with soap at the required times. So far we have talked about the importance of hand washing in order to reduce the risk of infection. This is very simple to adopt if you can easily access a hand washing facility. The next series of videos were recorded in different locations where access to water is not the same to show how ease of access to water plays a very big role in helping people adopt the practice of regular hand washing. In places with proper sanitation facilities, such as a sink with running water, it is easy to open the tap and wash your hands. It is important to wash the hands with enough soap as recommended by the World Health Organization. You need to ensure that you rub your palms, fingers, thumbs, and the back of your hands before rinsing off with water. Everyone can easily access running water. They have to draw water from a communal source, such as a borehole, and collect the water in a bucket or any other available container. The collected water can then be used to wash hands. Washing hands with water collected in a bucket or container is not as easy as when you use a tap. Sometimes you need extra aids to get the water and you need to avoid splashing the used water. You might find that soap is not readily available and the only option is just to rinse with water. It is also important to wash hands when you are in transit. When you use public transport, you cannot avoid touching surfaces which have been touched by so many other people. At some stations, you might easily find a hand washing facility which you can use. Some bus stations have public fee paying toilets where you can wash your hands. But not every station has a washing facility and commuters might find it more challenging to wash their hands. To improve access to clean water, we need to do more to support innovative ideas that focus on providing clean water. I had the chance to catch up with one of our master students and ask him what motivated him to take up his project. My motivation to take up uh, an MSc and water purification was due to the fact that access to clean water is a fundamental human right. However, in many developing countries like Zambia, access to clean water is a challenge for the majority. And this is due to limited water treatment plants that can supply water to everyone. The other alternative is the development of innovative and cheap purification methods that would help reduce the spread of water-related diseases. My project uh, focuses on converting waste biomass into activated carbon and incorporating nanotechnology in the removal of organic, inorganic and microbiological pollutants from water. Uh, in order to improve access to clean water, it is pivotal to support innovative water purification ideas in terms of funding. I believe that with collaborative efforts, we can overcome the challenge of poor access to water. There is need to increase a support for low-cost wash interventions which can not only be sustainable but are also easily adopted by the local communities. Using poor quality water reduces the effectiveness of hand washing. Improving access to clean water will reduce the burden of infectious diseases and this improves the quality of life. Thank you so much for watching this video. And I hope that you will join us in our efforts to improve access to safe and clean water for everyone.